Hello and welcome to our new revision lesson. It's a general grammar review. First, let's uh, remember some of the uh, special rules about pronouns. Everyone and everybody. When we want to refer back to everyone or everybody, and we don't know if everyone is male or female, we don't know whether it was a woman or it's a woman or a man in the sentence, everyone refers to whom. Of course, everyone is singular. We use him or her, this phrase. We use him or her as a phrase. We don't choose between them. We use both words. And his or her, also the, these three words, we use them in the sentence. And this is the example. The example is, everybody has a team leader. Notice that here we used everybody. Yes, everybody. Uh, the subject has a team leader in charge of uh, now this pronoun refers to the subject which is everybody but we don't know whether everybody is a man or a woman so we use him or her the three words at the same time example number two not everyone has his or her own desk so here we the subject is Everyone has his or her. This is the pronoun that refers to everyone. So we use both his or her. And here we used him or her. Okay. So let's take this um, exercise. Be sure that everyone brings, notice here that, Everyone is singular and we use S in the verb. Be sure that everyone brings his or her or their own book. According to what we have revised just now, we should use yes, his or her. Number two, if anyone calls, tell uh, now I want to refer to everyone. So, uh, sorry, anyone. If, if anyone calls, tell him or her or them that I'll be back in half an hour. So I want here a pronoun to refer to everyone, but I don't know whether this one was a man or a woman, boy or a girl, so I have to choose him or her at the same time. Number three, Joe and what have been close friends for many years. So now I'm going to choose me or, sorry, I'm going to choose either, okay, I have to choose whether me or, me or her. Of course, I made this by mistake. Okay. Um, so, uh, in order to choose the uh, correct object i have to look for the verb to know where is my object in the sen uh, sorry where is my pronoun in the in the sentence whether it is a subject or an object so where is the verb it's here have been sorry have been have been is the verb okay Yes, I erased all of it. That's good. So, have been is the verb. And uh, what comes F before the verb? Here, the pronoun is before the verb. So, I need subject or object. I need the subject pronoun. So, Joe and I have been close friends for many years. Here, what about object pronouns? Let's uh, refresh our memories. Here we have the, the in the first column, subject pronouns that appear at the beginning of the sentence and they are always before the verb. 
I U E C H V U Z. And the why the object pronouns appear after the verb, sometimes at the end of the sentence or in the middle of the sentence. Like this example, can you help me? So here, me is an object pronoun and it is after the verb. The help is the verb. Okay, I know you. So here, by the way, I is a subject pronoun while you here is an object pronoun. Why? Because it comes after the verb. And so on. Let's look at this one. Wait for us. Here, us is preceded by for. So, what is for? It's an. Sorry, it's a preposition. So, uh, object to pronouns comes after come after uh, the verb or the preposition. Okay, so also after the preposition, we use the object pronoun. I cannot say wait for, uh, wait for we. No, it's wrong. Wait for us. So an object pronoun, this is the object pronoun after. So object pronouns appear after the verb or the preposition. So number four, did you see Derek and what at the, at the game? Okay, so. Her or she. Now, where is the verb? It's here. See. You see Derek and what at the game? Just do not look at this because this is a helping verb. So, you see Derek and her or you see Derek and she. She is a subject to pronoun. It comes before the verb. But her it the, uh, is an object pronoun and it comes after the verb. So what is the verb? It's a C. So I need a pronoun, an object pronoun that comes after the verb, which should be her, Derek and her at the game. Number five, between you and what? This politician cannot be trusted. So how can we, where is the verb here? It's here, cannot be. So, can we depend on this? I don't think so. We have here a preposition. Between is a preposition. And we said after the preposition, we need an object or subject pronoun. We need an object pronoun after the preposition. So, between you and me. Rodna explained that what and her sister had often eaten at that restaurant. Her or she, and there is a mistake which is very obvious. Okay, how, uh, how can we uh, understand this uh, sentence? Uh, because we have here more than one verb. If we look, Rodna explained, this is one verb. That what and her sister had often eaten. So had often eaten is another verb. So we have here uh, a, um, something like two sentences together and they have two verbs. So concerning uh, the sentence that we are answering in um, what... And her sister had often eaten at that restaurant. Her and her sister? Her what? Or she and her sister? What do we need to put here? Who, who has, sorry, who had eaten? Who had eaten? A subject. A subject. Before this verb, I need a subject. So I need she. Okay. Number nine, most of, of course, most is, what is it, singular or plural? Plural. And here, most of the workers, also the workers here, this noun is plural. Most of the workers were wearing what hard hats? Most of the workers, his or her for singular or their for plural? What do you think? 
the, it's obvious most workers were uh, were wearing their hats because I have uh, I am referring to plural noun. It's always best for a student to ask a questions when what doesn't understand a problem. Okay, I need here to choose she or they. And I'm talking about a student. Look here. The sentence explains itself. Look here, a student. What is a student singular or plural? Singular. So, what should I use? She or they? Which one is singular? She is singular. Singular. I'm going to write singular. Nice. Or plural. Okay, student singular. So, I need also here a pronoun which is singular. Their children in that neighborhood often ride what bikes is through the park so i am referring to the children's bikes the children's bikes so children his or her or their singular or plural this children uh, there is uh, there is no s but we know that for many years now we've been studying regular plural ver uh, nouns and it's a plural noun so what is the correct answer? There. Because uh, his or her refers to the singular. Okay, number 12. The local government plans to cut what budget for uh, recreation? Its budget or their budget? Now you may come and look here to the government. You may ask yourself, government, is it singular or plural? And maybe you don't know. Uh, maybe you would think, ah, oh, the government, there are so many people in the government. So maybe it's a plural. No, government is singular. It's a singular noun. And how do you know from the sentence, even if you are not sure of you to, or if you don't know? Look at the verb. This is the verb. The verb here, plans, plans, it has an S. This S, when it comes in the verb, it means that the subject is singular, right? So the local government plans to cut its or their because it's a singular, so it's its. When I meet new people, I am usually curious about what occupation. I'm meeting who? New people. People, singular or plural? Is it singular or plural? People. Certainly, it's plural. There are, there is no S, yes, but it's a plural noun. And his or her or their, I need a plural pronoun to their. Everyone, now we come back to everyone, which is a singular pronoun. Everyone who purchased one of the paintings, what, please, were or was, were, these are conjugations of the verb to be and were refers to the plural while was refers to the singular so everyone were or was everyone is singular so i choose the singular verb was very happy or pleased with paintings few of the suggestions few is plural few of the suggestions and also i have suggestions which is plural Reasonable to me. Sound or sounds. These are verbs. This verb has no S, so it's for the plural uh, subject. And this verb has an S, so it's for the singular subject. We said that few is plural. So I choose the sound with no S. Christopher and what? want to travel to the far east someday the far east means japan so christopher and i or and me want 
Where is the verb? Want. This is the verb. Do you remember the rule that we have re uh, that we have revised just now? Yes. Yeah, so I need a pro uh, a pronoun that comes before the verb, which is the subject pronoun. So I want or me want. Can I say me want? Of course not. I want. Number seventeen. The cost of the repairs shocked both my brother and. What is the verb? Shocked both my brother and me or I shocked me or shocked I can I say shocked I uh, after the verb I need an object pronoun so I have to choose me